All right, so it is phase two of India's Lok Sabha polls and voting has just begun across 95 different parliamentary constituencies across 12 states and one union territory. Now, talking of statewide division of seats which are up for grabs here, here's how the numbers stack up. 37 seats in Tamil Nadu. Remember, the entire state of Tamil Nadu, except for the Velour constituency, will, of course, be voting. The voting for Velour constituency had been cancelled by the Election Commission. And also, these are live visuals from the southern part of India, from the state of Tamil Nadu, where P. Chidambaram, the former union minister, the former finance minister of India, has just cast his vote. One of the first people to have cast his ballot as soon as voting has opened this morning. Now, the other very crucial state that will be looked at will be the state of Karnataka, where 14 out of the 28 seats will be casting their ballot today. Ten seats in Maharashtra out of the 48 and eight seats in Uttar Pradesh. This again is going to be an extremely interesting battle to watch out for. Out of the 80 seats, eight had already cast their votes in the first phase of polling. And today, eight seats will, of course, be grabs in the second phase of polling. Now, five seats are up for grabs in the states of Assam and Bihar and Odisha and three each in the states of Chhattisgarh and West Bengal and two in Jammu and Kashmir and one seat in Manipur and, of course, in the Union Territory of Puducherry, which will also be voting today. And elections in Velour constituency have been cancelled following allegations of money power to influence voting. Elections in one of the seats in Tripura has, in fact, been postponed to the 23rd of April due to the issues of law and order. The authorities in Velour had seized over 10 crore rupees of cash from the premises of an associate of a DMK leader recently. Elections will be held in 35 assembly constituencies in Odisha. Now, the elections in Tamil Nadu will be watched very closely as this, of course, will be the first Lok Sabha polls that is happening after the demise of the two heavyweights, AIADMK Supremo J. Jalalitha and also the DMK chief, Karunanadi, both of them have passed away. And this, of course, is the first election in several decades where these two stalwarts are not present. Now, the key candidates in the fray in the second phase of polling are, of course, Union Minister Joel Oram, Sadanand Gauda, and Pon Radha Krishnan, former Prime Minister H.D. Deve Gauda. He, of course, will be contesting today from Karnataka and Congress leaders Virappa Moili and Raj Babbar in Uttar Pradesh. The National Conference President Farooq Abdullah, BJP's Hema Malni, who, remember, has run a pretty interesting campaign this time round. She, of course, is contesting from Mad Mathura. DMK's Dayanadi Maran, A. Raja and Kanimui are some of the other key candidates who are in the frame. All right.